to smile. I don't want to smile. Is it by force? I'm serious right now. Let's do it. All right. Hey guys, my name is Chai Wakama and I'm inside cracks. What can you never be found doing? I'm not a or anything, but you never find me inside that hole. Like, I feel like that's one of my biggest nightmares. Unless I'm shooting in the downfall, where you never find me writing one. And then I hear a lot of stories, a lot of people talk about different stories. I see a lot of like, even though sometimes there are comedies, like I just hear a whole bunch of things. I'm just like, it's not, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I bet you can't stop. Um, I'm a sweet tooth. And now that I'm trying to take like my fitness life seriously, it's been quite a challenge. I cannot see cake or cookies and turn it down. Like, even when it was offered downstairs, I ate it. <laughs> even though I wasn't supposed to, I ate it. So, um, yeah, I just, I love sweets. Like, it got to a point sometimes, I'll go to a party, I'd rather eat more fourth than the main meal. And there are some times that I'll rather, like, order my dessert before my main dish. So, I'm just a sweet tooth. I love sugar. What's the worst advice you have given while being tipsy? I don't think I'll remember. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's an advice, but it was one of those. So, oh gosh. So a distant, distant, distant <laughs> cousin who was dating someone in Lagos and she wasn't in Lagos. And um, I remember at the point I was at the stage, she was like worried because I was here in Lagos. So I went to go visit. She was worried about, you know, the if the guy was loyal to her or not because she's not around so i remember one day we went out we went clubbing and she started facetiming the guy i'm like why would you facetime the guy leave him alone when i get to lagos i will make him my friend so that i can you know enter in there and know exactly who he's seeing but that was a lie because i've been back in lagos i don't even have the nigga number I'm not trying to call him. I don't even want to have anything to do with him. So I did not, I, I made a promise that at that point I was just saying that because I was tipsy. Weirdest thing a fan has done for me. I mean like I get, like I know last year for the first time I got gifts for my birthday from fans. Um, weirdest thing, but that's not weird. I mean I've, I've heard weird things. Like I, people say weird things to you, but they haven't really done weird thing like I remember I went for an event and a girl was like wow I, I love you so much like I want to lick you and I was like okay <laughs> I loved it I was like oh that's not weird at all heartbreak experience um I think I've only probably experienced heartbreak once if that was a heartbreak I feel like it it's not even that it was more of a heartbreak it was more of I didn't see it coming I'm usually like ahead of like everything you know i usually i know where it's headed i'm usually the one to end it and stuff like that but this one i was blindsided like one minute we're good and then the next minute like and then we're both stubborn so if you're not calling me i'm not calling you so that's how it kind of just happened so he didn't call and i didn't call and like a month later i sent him a text and can i swear i sent him a text and i said you so that's how we ended what's the weirdest question i've been asked um i would have to say when I was still in the States and I turned them out from Nigeria and they're like, oh, how's your English so good? I'm like, I grew up with English. I don't, I don't understand what your question is. That was the weirdest because I used to get it out a lot. Like, oh, your English is so good. I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Believe it or not, I got one of those. Do you guys live in trees? I got one of those actually. Like, it's not even a joke. You know how like we make fun? No, I actually got one of those. My most cherished body part and why? Growing up, I hated full lips because I didn't understand why I just had full lips. But now I just be glossing it up and like, you know, because now people are doing injections and stuff like that. So that would have to be my most cherished body part. Favorite tattoo and meaning. <laughs> um, so I officially only have one tattoo and then I have one by accident. <laughs> we'll enter that story later. But I just have one tattoo behind my ear and it's just like an ace. Cause I like aces and then an ace is like, you know, king of cards. So, and then I got it behind my ears because I wanted something small that I can cover up when you're at home. You know, most times ladies, we don't wear wigs. And my mom was like, what's that behind your ears? And I told her that it was a birthmark. This one is henna gone wrong. 
that is a tattoo that I did not plan for. And people think it's a tattoo now because I've had it for so long. But anyways, first sex experience. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. As far as my mother knows. Proud moments in a fist fight. Funny enough, funny enough, um, I've never... Okay, I've never actually gone in a fist fight, but let me take that back. The only person I've ever physically fought is my younger brother. We used to fight all the time, like physically, to the point I thought that he was going to kill me one day. Because there was one day we were fighting, we always fight. But one day, he gave me one deck right here in the tummy. And like, that thing, you lose win. Like, it was kind of like a... Like, I thought I was going to... I just froze, because I didn't see that one coming. But he was the only one that we used to go head on, like, fist fight. Any regrets? Um, well, we all like to say, oh, we lived our life, no regrets, stuff like that. Um, I feel like if I knew the things I knew now, I would have done a lot of things um, quite differently in terms of career and human beings. Yeah, no regrets, but if I knew some things I knew now, I'll do a lot of things differently. Yeah, that's that. I dare official chicken to come on this show. And he has to play this one. This one. Yeah. <laughs>